You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. as Roller Martin Unfiltered by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. All right, folks, welcome back to Roller Martin Unfiltered. Now, today, of course, is the first day of summer, and people are already posting their photos by the pool, by the beach, and there are others who are saying, I'm not doing any of that because I don't look the way I want to. Well, part of that is also not just exercise, but it's also what we eat uh, and when it comes to losing weight. And so joining us right now to talk about uh, this is Nathaniel Jordan. He is uh, the Minister of Wellness. Uh, Nathaniel, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, brother. It's a it's an honor to finally speak with you. So again, folks talk a lot about uh, again uh, working out and and walking and exercising things along those lines. But if you talk uh, to me, nutritionists, they tell you the key to losing weight, eighty to ninety percent of it is really your diet, not your workout. Co- correct, and I'm a living witness because I lost one hundred pounds. And I've kept my weight off for seven years. And I also reversed the killer of 400 black men every three days, and that's heart disease. And I want to tell you also, Brother Roland, the response that I received from the lecture that you live streamed that's still up on your page is is still, I'm still getting feedback from that. People, lives have been transformed. So I, I just wanted to throw that out there and, and to say thank you. Um, you should see some of the testimonials I, I got from people changing their family's diet and reversing even, even mental illness. But diet is diet is the cake, and then exercise is the icing on top of the cake. We have to change our diet. Um, you talked about uh, reversing, losing 100-plus pounds, uh, keeping it off for seven years. How did you do it? I learned about the 12 components of food addiction. The reason why we all want to be lean and healthy, but we're struggling to achieve that is there are 12 components of food addiction. The the foods that we're addicted to, let's be honest, they're more addicting than crack cocaine. And many of us, it no matter what type of willpower we use, unless you understand addiction, And those 12 components that I've discovered through my seven years, because it hasn't been easy, brother. It hasn't been easy to stay this way. And I've put together these components, and I travel the nation as a speaker teaching people how to defeat those components of food addiction. And and that was one of the lectures that you live streamed, uh, Genocide by Diet, on on your Facebook page. I'm going to go to Eugene Craig because Eugene, of course, uh, has talked about uh, getting uh, type 2 diabetes. Was it type 2 diabetes, Gene? Were you uh, were what, type 25? One, type 1. Type 1? One. Type one. And how type old one. were you? Uh, 26 at the time. So you were, 20, you were 21? You were 26, 26 at the time. time. Uh, and so, so, Eugene, what question do you have for, for, the, for, the, for the minister? Uh, so, so um, you know, one thing that my endocrinologist told me, uh, you know, when Discover had diabetes was uh, – some of the slight changes uh, in diet, um, dealing with carbs and dealing with meat. Uh, what are the, some of the minor things that could have major impacts that people could do? Um, you know, because sometimes it's, it's the slight changes in your lifestyle uh, that could have the uh, major impact on uh, how you live. Well, well we want to eat a diet that's based on fresh fruits and vegetables. Those, the, it's the micronutrient content, the vitamins, the minerals, the natural phytonutrients within plant foods. It's the old saying, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. The foods that have the most medicines are fresh fruits and vegetables. The problem, brother, is that we are we have lost our taste for real food and we have become addicted to fake food. And our addiction is so strong that we call fake food, we call real food rabbit food and fake food is human food now. So we have to flip the that. Fine, the fine fake food. What, 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 do you, what do you consider fake food? So fake food would be the foods loaded with all the uh, the toxic chemicals. So you have a take a, a Oreo cookie or the Twinkies or uh, the donuts and cakes with the paragraphs full of ingredients you can barely pronounce. Uh, then we have to consider where our meat is coming from. Uh, they, they're, they're sticking them with loads of hormones and antibiotics, and the diet they're feeding them is unnatural. So I consider those fake food because they don't give 
they add no uh, nourishment or medicinal value to our body and more importantly to our brain, which is something that we're underestimating, um, with, which I, uh, again, I have a whole lecture that I focused on uh, concerning that. So we, so those are the food, those are, I call them Franken foods. They're designed in the laboratory to take the plant, whole plant foods and manipulate them. And we get all of these uh, fake foods that are in many places are the only options that people have to eat. Erica. For joining us, I just want to say, Oorah, my father is a Marine, served for over 20 years. And so with the message that you're carrying, you're talking, you just shared with us that food addiction is even more aggressive than someone who is addicted to crack. How do we get that message to penetrate um, into mainstream so that um, people can start to reverse course at numbers that um, really seem like the message is taking hold? Well, it, it's it, it's a it's a difficult it is a difficult hill to climb, but that's why uh, me as a health speaker, I travel around to different organizations. It's growing within the church. I, I speak at churches quite often and other organizations, NAACP and Urban League, and usually uh, the response is tremendous. But it it is it's a lot of knowledge. It takes a lot of knowledge. I have signature programs that I teach that really focus on empowering people so they can believe that they can do it because a lot of people have lost hope. They don't believe that life is worth living without eating barbecue ribs and fried chicken. And I know this because I posted videos on very large platforms. Even when I did the live stream with you, Brother Roland, because the video I did with you, it got a combined over 100,000 views. And even within the comments, you still have, uh, unfortunately, a lot, a lot of naysayers who just don't want to accept the fact that what we eat could even affect our emotions wow. and could even affect how we treat each other and how we feel. Wow. So it, it's an uphill battle, but I'm I'm, fi I'm fighting that battle. I was out in D.C. working with Rock Newman. That's how uh, I got connected to have the honor to have that whole live stream uh, posted on, on your page. And I had uh, helped him, but even he'll tell you the battle um, the battle with the battle with food addiction is serious. I don't know anybody who has these 12 components like I do. And, and that's why I, I appreciate you all's help in giving me these type of platforms to let people know that, hey, I've reversed heart disease. I lost 100 pounds. I've kept it off. I'm seven years strong and I have the knowledge to help you all to get off what I call the death train. CJ, a uh, final question from you. I think one of the things I would love to know, you know, when people talking about the fruits and vegetables, because I grew up on a farm, and the fact that they would have to convert back to using that as a primary means, for particularly for women, there often comes a pH imbalance. Um, what do you share with folks as they are beginning to restructure their eating habits and natural ways to um, stabilize their pH balance for women? Yeah, it's a there's a there's definitely a period of detoxing that we have to go through. That's actually one of the components of of, of overcoming food addiction is the withdrawal and the change that goes on in the body. Uh, um, however, it, it it doesn't take too long, and I have tremendous success stories. If you go to my website, theministerofwellness.com, I have dozens of success stories pouring in across the nation, and most of my success stories usually are women. And I do want to encourage sisters out there that I tell you that my female clients, they, they lose weight just as quickly and just as permanently and reverse their conditions just as fast as men do. So it's just an initial period of letting the body change. Uh, but when you really dive into it, it shouldn't take any longer than one or two weeks. Nathaniel Jordan, uh, we appreciate it. How can people reach out to you? Well, I'm on YouTube, the Minister of Wellness. I have a 12-part series covering each component of food addiction. My website for seminars is NathanielJordan.com. I have books, DVDs, and supplements at TheMinisterOfWellness.com. TheMinisterOfWellness.com, I'm the only one in the world, and that's how you can find me on any social media platform. All right. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you so very much for joining us. Yes, sir. Thank you. It was an honor, brother.
All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, they're back. MarijuanaStock.org is another great investment opportunity. If you were lucky enough to invest in their last crowdfunding campaign, you know they raised a ton of money in just a few months investing in legal marijuana farms. Those initial investors now own shares of a publicly traded company, and they are on fire. Now they have a new investment opportunity that is as good, if not even better, than the last one. I'm talking about industrial hemp CBD. For those who don't know, the hemp plant is the cousin to marijuana with a much higher concentration of CBD, which means hemp CBD gives you all the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Until recently, hemp farming was practically illegal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, the 2018 Farm Bill changed all of that, making it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S. and creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. They need land to grow all the plants. Now, this makes for an incredible investment opportunity, and that's where our good friends at 420 Real Estate come in. Their business model is simple. They buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. That's right. They are hemp CBD landlords, and you can get in on the action. You can invest in the crowdfunding campaign for as little as 200 bucks, up to $10,000. Like I said, you don't want to miss out on this. To invest, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org. And yes, this is a black-owned company. So you want to try it and get in the game. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.